Today, we're going to dive deep into the world of the 1987 USA Jefferson Nickel. This video will provide you with an in-depth look at the value, rarity, historical background, and recent auction results of this significant coin. Plus, we'll explore how you might find valuable 1987 Jefferson Nickels worth thousands of dollars still in circulation today. So, let's get started. Historical Background of the Jefferson Nick The Jefferson Nickel, introduced in 1938, replaced the Buffalo Nickel and has become one of the most iconic coins in American numismatic history. To understand the significance of the 1987 Jefferson Nickel, we need to explore the broader historical context of its design, production, and its place in American coinage. The Origin of the Jefferson Nickel In 1938, the U.S. Mint decided to replace the Buffalo Nickel, which had been in circulation since 1913. The new design was part of a broader effort to honor Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States and the principal author of the Declaration of Independence. The Mint held a design competition, which was won by Felix Schlag, a German-born American sculptor. Schlag's design featured a portrait of Jefferson on the obverse and his Monticello estate on the reverse. This design has remained largely unchanged for decades, with only minor modifications over the years. The Jefferson Nickel in the 1980 By the 1980s, the Jefferson Nickel had become a staple of American currency. The 1987 Jefferson Nickel was minted during a period of stability and economic growth in the United States. The design and production standards were consistent with those of previous years, but what makes the 1987 Jefferson Nickel interesting are the subtle variations and errors that can make certain coins more valuable. Mint Locations and Production In 1987, the Jefferson Nickel was minted in three locations, Philadelphia, No Mint Mark, Denver, D Mint Mark, and San Francisco, S Mint Mark for proof coins. Each mint played a crucial role in meeting the demand for five-cent coins, and each produced coins with slight differences that are of interest to collectors. Design and Composition The 1987 Jefferson Nickel, like its predecessors, is composed of 75% copper and 25% nickel. It weighs 5 grams and has a diameter of 21.21 mm. The obverse features the iconic portrait of Thomas Jefferson, while the reverse depicts Monticello, Jefferson's Virginia home. Collecting the Jefferson Nickel For collectors, the Jefferson Nickel represents a piece of American history and a link to one of the nation's founding fathers. While the design has remained consistent, certain years and mint marks, such as the 1987 Jefferson Nickel, are of particular interest due to their rarity and potential value, rarity and varieties of the 1987 Jefferson Nickel. Now, let's delve into the rarity and varieties of the 1987 Jefferson Nickel. While millions of these coins were produced, certain varieties and errors make specific 1987 nickels highly sought after by collectors. General Mintage Numbers The 1987 Jefferson Nickel was produced in large quantities, with approximately 655 million coins minted in Philadelphia, 625 million in Denver, and about 3.4 million proof coins in San Francisco. Despite these high mintage numbers, there are several varieties and errors that add rarity and value to certain 1987 Jefferson Nickels. Rare Varieties and Errors One of the most notable varieties is the 1987 D. Jefferson Nickel with a double die reverse, DDR. This error occurs when the reverse die is struck more than once with a slight misalignment, creating a doubled image of the design elements, such as the lettering or Monticello itself. Another sought-after variety is the 1987 P. Jefferson Nickel with full steps on the reverse. The full steps designation refers to the sharpness of the steps on Monticello. Only well-struck coins will show all five or six steps clearly, and these coins are much rarer and more valuable. Factors Affecting Rarity the rarity of these varieties and errors is influenced by several factors, including the condition of the coin and the number of known examples. Coins in mint state or higher grades with full steps or notable errors are rarer and more valuable than those that have been circulated extensively. 
professional grading services like the Professional Coin Grading Service, PCGS, and the Numismatic Guarantee Corporation, NGC, provide a standardized way to assess a coin's condition and authenticity. Coins graded by these organizations often command higher prices due to the assurance of their quality and rarity. Collecting Rare Varieties Collectors should be aware of what to look for when searching for rare varieties. Magnification tools and reference guides can help identify key features of valuable coins. Networking with other collectors and joining numismatic societies can also provide valuable insights and opportunities to acquire rare coins. Value Assessment of the 1987 Jefferson Nickel Now, let's talk about the value of the 1987 Jefferson Nickel. Determining the value of a coin involves several factors, including its condition, rarity, and demand among collectors. Grading and Condition Coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70, with higher numbers indicating better condition. Uncirculated coins, those with a grade of 60 or higher, are generally more valuable than circulated ones. The presence of luster, sharpness of the strike, and lack of wear are key indicators of a coin's grade. Market Trends The value of 1987 Jefferson Nichols has shown a steady increase over the years, particularly for those in higher grades or with notable errors. Current market values vary, but a high-grade 1987 Jefferson nickel with full steps or a significant error can fetch a substantial amount at auction. Factors influencing the value include the coin's condition, rarity, and demand among collectors. Examples of recent sales and price ranges Recent sales of high-grade 1987 Jefferson nickels have shown a range of prices. For example, a 1987 P. Jefferson nickel with full steps in mint state can sell for anywhere from $50 to several hundred dollars, depending on the grade. Coins with significant errors or in exceptionally high grades can fetch even higher prices, sometimes reaching into the thousands. Recent auctions and sales of the 1987 Jefferson nickel. Recent auctions have seen notable sales of 1987 Jefferson nickels, particularly those with rare errors or in exceptional condition. Auction houses like Heritage Auctions and Stax Bowers frequently handle the sale of these coins, with some fetching thousands of dollars. Let's take a closer look at some high-profile auctions and notable sales. High-profile auctions One of the most notable recent auctions was held by Heritage Auctions, where a 1987 D. Jefferson nickel with a double die reverse in MS67 condition sold for over $1,500. Another high-value transaction involved the 1987 P. Jefferson nickel with full steps, which fetched nearly $2,000 at auction. Record Sales and Notable High-Value Transactions There have been several record sales for 1987 Jefferson nickels in recent years. For example, a 1987 S. Proof Jefferson nickel with a deep cameo. The 